Hello everyone, it is February 26th, 2015. Well, I found the Jesuit Oath. The oath that all Jesuits take, including Pope Francis, who is the first Jesuit Pope. The Jesuits are the right arm military of the Catholic Church. So I thought I would share this Jesuit oath with you. And this is from the European Institute of Protestant Studies. The Jesuit Oath Exposed. Go ye then into all the world and take possession of all lands in the name of the Pope. He who will not accept him as the vicar of Jesus and his vice regent on earth, let him be accursed and exterminated. Professor Arthur Noble Contents The following is the text of the Jesuit Extreme Oath of Induction as recorded in the journals of the 62nd Congress, 3rd Session of the United States Congressional Record, from which it was subsequently torn out. The oath is also quoted by Charles Dieter in his book, Subterrain Rome, New York, 1843, translated from the French original, Dr. Alberto Rivera, who escaped from the Jesuit order in 1967, confirms that the induction ceremony and the text of the Jesuit oath which he took were identical to what we have cited below. By the way, Alberto Rivera was murdered when this came out. When a Jesuit of the minor rank is to be elevated to command, he is conducted into the chapel of the Covenant of the Order, where there are only three others present, the principal or superior standing in front of the altar. On either side stands a monk, one of whom holds a banner of yellow and white, which are the papal colors, and the other a black banner with a dagger and red cross above a skull and crossbones with the word I-N-R-I, and below them the words you stum nacar rages impious, the meaning of which is, it is just to exterminate or annihilate impious or heretical kings, governments, or rulers. Upon the floor is a red cross at which the postulant or candidate kneels. The superior hands him a small black crucifix, which he takes in his left hand and presses to his heart and the superior at the same time presents him to him a dagger, which he grasps by the blade and holds the point against his heart, the superior still holding it by the hilt, and thus addresses the postulant. The superior speaks, My son, heretofore you have been taught to act the dissembler among Roman Catholics to be a Roman Catholic, and to be a spy even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man. Among the reformers, to be a reformer. Among the Huguenots, to be a Huguenot. Among the Calvinists, to be a Calvinist. Among other Protestants, generally to be a Protestant, and obtaining their confidence, to seek even to preach from their pulpits, and to denounce with all the vehemence in your nature our holy religion and the Pope, and even to descend so low as to become a Jew among Jews, that you might be enabled to get gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier for the Pope. You have been taught to plant insidiously the seeds of jealousy and hatred between communities, province, states, that were at peace, and to incite them to deeds of blood, involving them in war with each other, and to create revolutions and civil wars in countries that were independent and prosperous, cultivating the arts and the sciences, and enjoying the blessings of peace, to take sides with the combatants and to act secretly with your brother Jesuit, who might be engaged on the other side, but openly opposed to that with which you might be connected, only that the church might be the gainer in the end. In the conditions fixed in the treaties for peace 
and that the end justifies the means, you have been taught your duty as a spy to gather all statistics, facts, and information in your power from every source to ingratiate yourself into the confidence of the family circle of Protestants and heretics of every class and character, as well as that of the merchant, the banker, the lawyer, among the schools and universities, and parliaments and legislature, and the judiciaries and councils of state, and to be all things to all men, for the Pope's sake, whose servants we are unto death. You have received all of your instructions heretofore as a novice, a neophyte, and have served as co adjurer confessor and priest, but you have not been invested with all that is necessary to command in the army of Loyola in the service of the Pope. You must serve the proper time as the instrument and executioner, as directed by your superiors, for none can command here who has not consecrated his labors with the blood of the heretic, for without the shedding of blood no man can be saved. Therefore, to fit yourself for your work, and make your own salvation sure, you will, in addition to your former oath of obedience to your order and allegiance to the Pope, repeat after me. And this is the text of the oath. I, substitute the name, Pope Francis, now in the presence of Almighty God, the blessed Virgin Mary, the blessed St. John the Baptist, the holy apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints, sacred host of heaven, and to you, my ghostly father, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus, founded by St. Ignatius Loyola in the pontification of Paul the Third, and continued to the present, do by the womb of the Virgin, the Matrix of God, and the Rod of Jesus Christ, declare and swear that His Holiness, the Pope, is Christ Vice Regent, and is the true and only head of the Catholic or Universal Church throughout this earth, the earth, and that by the virtue of the keys of binding and loosing given to His Holiness by my Savior Jesus Christ, He hath power to dispose her heretical, t heretical kings, princes, states, commonwealths, and governments, and they may th safely be destroyed. Therefore, to the utmost of my power, I will defend this doctrine and His Holiness' right and custom against all usurpers of the heretical or Protestant authority, whatever, especially the Lutheran Church of Germany, Holland, Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, and now pretended authority in churches of England and Scotland, and the branches of same now established in Ireland, and on the con continent of America, and elsewhere, and all adherents in regard, that they may be usurped and heretical. Opposing the Sacred Mother Church of Rome, I do now denounce and disown any allegiance as due to any heretical king, prince, or state, named Protestant or liberal, or obedience to any of their laws, magistrates, or officers. I do further declare that the doctrine of the church, churches of England and Scotland, of the Calvinists, Huguenots, and others of the same, or Protestants or Masons, to be damnable, and they themselves to be damned, who will not forsake the same. I do further declare that I will help, assist, and advise all or any of His Holiness agents in any place where I should be, in Switzerland, Germany, Holland, Ireland, or America, or in any other kingdom or territory I shall come to, and do my utmost to extirpate the heretical Protestant or Masonic doctrines, and to destroy all their pretended powers, legal or otherwise. I do further promise and declare that notwithstanding, I am dispensed with to assume any religion heretical for the propagation of the Mother Church's interest to keep secret and private all her agents' counsels from time to time as they entrust me, and not to divulge directly or indirectly, by word, writing, or circumstances, whatever, but to execute all that should be proposed, given in charge, or discovered unto me by you, my ghostly father, or any of the sacred order, I do further promise and declare that I will have no opinion or will of my own or any mental reservation whatsoever, whatever, even as a corpse or cadaver, but will unhesitantly obey each and every command that I may receive from my superiors in the militia of the Pope and of Jesus Christ, that I will go to any part of the world world whithsoever I may be sent, 
to the frozen regions north, jungles of India to the centers of civilization of Europe, or to the wild haunts of the bar barbarous salvage, salvages of America, without murmuring or repining, and will be submissive in all things whatsoever is communicated to me. I do further promise and declare that I will, when opportunity presents, make and wage relentless war, secretly and openly, against all heretics, Protestants, and mates, Masons, as I am directed to do, to extirpate them from the face of the whole earth, and that I will spare neither age, sex, nor condition, and that will hang, burn, waste, boil, flay, strangle, and bury alive these infamous heretics, rip up the stomachs and wombs of their women, and crush their infants' heads against the walls in order to annihilate their execrable race, that when the same cannot be done openly, openly I will secretly use the poisonous cup, the strangulation cord, the steel of the poignard, or the leaden bullet, regardless of the honor, rank, dignity, or authority of the persons, whatever they may be, in their condition in life, either public or private, as I, at any time, may be directed to do so by any agents of the Pope or Superior of the Brotherhood of the Holy Father of the Society of Jesus, in confirmation of which I hereby dedicate my life, soul, and all corporal powers, and with the dagger which I now receive. I will subscribe my name written in my blood in testimony thereof, and should I prove false or weaken in my determination, may my brethren and fellow soldiers of the militia of the Pope cut off my hands and feet and my throat from ear to ear, my belly be opened and sulfur burned therein with all the punishment that can be inflicted upon me on earth, and my soul shall be tortured by demons in eternal hell forever, that I will in voting always vote for a knight of Columbus, in preference to a Protestant, especially a Mason, and that I will leave my party so to do, that if two Catholics are on the ticket, I will satisfy myself, which is the better supporter of Mother Church, and vote accordingly, that I will not deal with or employ a Protestant if in my power to deal with or employ a Catholic, that I will place Catholic girls in Protestant families, that a weekly report may be made of the inner movements of the heretics, that I will provide myself with arms and ammunition, that I may be in readiness when the word is passed, or I am commanded to defend the church either as an individual or with the militia of the Pope, all of which I, fill in the blank, Pope Francis, do swear by the blessed Trinity and blessed sacrament which I am now to receive to perform on and on part to keep this my oath. In testimony hereof, I take this most holy and blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, and witness the same further with my name written on the point of this dagger, dipped in my own blood, and sealed in the face of this holy sacrament. Wow. You can read more if you're interested. But this is the Jesuit Oath. And this is what Pope Francis has signed and agreed to do. And he is heading to Congress to speak to our nation's Congress on September 24th, 2015. Have a good night, everyone.